He's Tim Callishaw, the Dallas Morning News columnist, actually one of my favorite people. Uh, around the Horn, he's uh, usually a regular on there. Drunk on Sports, that is the book that uh, Tim has uh, written. He joins us on the show. At what point did you say, you know what, I'm going to write a book, and this is going to be the topic? Uh, Danny, I, I decided I was just a few months into not drinking, and I was just going to take some notes and see how it went. And then about a year into it, I thought there were enough stories that I'd been through. You know, the point being, I thought drinking helped my career for a long time, drinking beers with Jimmy Johnson, getting to know him, getting on the inside of stories like that. Uh, and then, uh, then there was a considerable downside after getting arrested and going to the hospital twice. So, and, and throughout the book, I try to, while I take drinking seriously, I try to make fun of myself, and I hope a lot of parts of it are humorous. But, uh, you know, it was about a year into it that I really started trying to write it, and knowing the kind of the longer I took, the, the more uh, legitimacy I guess it would have if, if you know, if, if by the time it comes out today, I haven't had a drink in almost four years. I think that makes it a little better story. Is this a how-to or a how-not-to? It's a how-not-to. I, I don't pretend to uh, – I make it very clear. I don't. I never went to rehab. I don't go to AA meetings, and a lot of people find that uh, very surprising. Uh, I talked to Josh Hamilton about it a couple springs ago, and he said, so you're just white-knuckling it? I said, I guess if that's what they call it, uh, that's what I'm doing. And uh, What advice did he give you? He, his advice was to come uh, visit him at his church. I mean, the religion, as, the religious aspect, which I don't, I can't quite endorse either. Or at least for me, I mean that that's that's it for him. He says anytime he gets away from that and reading the Bible, that's when he lapses, and and I, that's great for him. That that's not going to work for me. So uh, I mean, we had a couple of good discussions about it, but uh, I just had to go my own way. So yeah, it's definitely a how not to. Were you drinking on the job? And I guess as a writer, you're sort of almost always on the job. But as far as writing a column, are, are you are you not, drinking when you're writing? Not not like sitting in a press box drinking, although it used to be there was a beer tap in the press box. And when you're about finished at, say, a Cowboy game or a Rangers game, you go grab a beer as you're finishing. And maybe that. Not the... Uh, stereotype whatever you, some guy you know wobbling around his desk and he can't can't see the keyboard if i'm writing at home and it's late at night uh yeah i might have had a cocktail next to me uh around the end it was really it was really an end of the day thing and you know the end of the day could go very late into the night and and it was getting to the point where it did that pretty much every night. Well, full disclosure, we went out drinking uh, in Detroit at the Super Bowl. Um, yes. You know, there have been times when I've been out with you. And, Correct. And even when I saw you in Dallas at the Super Bowl and you told me that, you know, you were, you were you know, trying to be sober. Right. And and I, under, I at first I thought you were joking with me. <laughs> of course. And I, I'm, <laughs> I mean, is that the reaction you get from some people? Yeah, and I remember specifically – the party we were at it when the Super Bowl was in Dallas. Yep. I had a Diet Coke in my hand. You gave me this look with your eyes like, all right, what's up with that? Well, I, did, uh, I thought whiskey was in it, first of all. And I said, what are you drinking? And then you go, uh, Diet Coke. And, yeah. and I went, oh, come on. Yeah, what, what, what's happened here? But uh, the, Yeah, that is the reaction, and that's some of the things you think about. Uh, you know, I had Charles Barkley, a good friend of yours and a good friend of mine, uh, do the forward for the book because I'd been out drinking many times with him. And one of the things I immediately thought of is, all right, if I stop drinking, when Charles comes to town, what do I tell him? Am I not going to go out with Charles Barkley? Are you kidding? And you have to realize there's way more important things in life than uh, than having a party every night. He's Tim Callishon, Dallas Morning News, Around the Horn contributor, and uh, the book is Drunk on Sports, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. But that's part of the crutch we have. That some Now you're, you're sort of in no man's land. Dennis Eckersley said he didn't realize how stupid he looked until he saw videotape of him drinking, and then he stopped drinking. Was there a moment where you realized, aside from the DUI or going to the hospital, but just you, you weren't the life of the party, that people were laughing at you, this was affecting your work? No, and I think that was the problem, because I, I, uh, I was mostly a funny drunk. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't somebody, obviously, who got in fights or anything like that. Uh, and so I didn't see it. I did eventually see the videotape of of my uh, DWI, and, and that looked rather pathetic. But after that, I just said, okay, I'm not going to drive anymore. I live 
close enough to the bars. I don't have to. That's a stupid way to live wow. a life. But but that's what I did. I moved much closer. I moved downtown, and uh, and so for about almost two years, two more years, almost after that, I uh, you know continued to drink a lot. I just never never got behind the wheel. Uh, but I never saw it. It really it was the it was the two trips to the hospital. I had a fractured my skull on Christmas night, and then I had a seizure from that. Uh, doing a radio show a few months later, and I said, maybe maybe it's time. The story that was the toughest to tell in the book is what? Uh, it, it's the second time in the hospital because that's when I was, was – uh, it was May of 2009. My daughter was a senior in high school. She was two days away from giving a speech that she was uh, nervous about, really wanted me to be there, and uh, and them telling me that I had to stay in the hospital and I couldn't go and – you know, looking in her eyes, it was just, it was, a. Uh, it was hard to, it was hard to do then. It, it was hard to write about, but I mean, that's what eventually did it. And, uh, uh, you know, I, you know, I did it for me. I did it for my dad. I did it for, uh, you know, other people who either have problems or know people with problems. And that's, that's just about everybody. The book is drunk on sports. Uh, he's Tim Kalashaw. Good luck with it, Tim. And uh, next time I see you and you have a diet Coke, then I'll realize it's a diet Coke. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. I appreciate it. All right, buddy. buddy. Take care. Tim Callishaw, Dallas Morning News.